it's going to be a great challenge. <clears throat> We're looking forward to it, looking forward to seeing our fans in, in Dallas. Uh, for, in my opinion, the best setting in college football. This is going to be an awesome environment, and we're very fortunate and humbled to, uh, to be part of the game. Yeah, that's, uh, it is going to be a, it's a challenge that Texas has not faced this season. I know you faced Alabama early, but Alabama felt like a game that you could go into a little bit looser. And Alabama felt like a game that you could, you could kind of, you went into that. And coming out of the game, you didn't feel like, oh, if we lose this, this is going to be a big shot to the team. You could go in there and play well. You really wanted to win it. You came into trying to win it. But I feel they were a little bit looser. And you may get a little tighter as you get into this OU week because this te- this game, when you're 5-0, and when everything's going your way, when you feel like you're a better team than this OU team, you brought up the good point, Joe. Okay, which other player other than Dylan Gabriel? And Dylan Gabriel even. You're saying, we could, we've played guys. We can go against you. And, you know, to pull all that back, to say, okay, don't get too tight in this game and and then realize how much is on the line and this is, you know, th- that there's smooth sailing afterwards, which there isn't. They're all traps and, you know, all that. But, you know, to say you have to be able to focus so hard on this game to be able to be ready for it, to pull yourself back from thinking that you, you've got it on lock, that you need to be able to come out and, and perform at that level, but then also realize that you still need to be loose. That's going to be the, pro- the challenge for this Texas team. You have to worry about – Making sure that you're on task to go against playing Alab- uh, to go against playing Oklahoma. This is a very different team from last year. You know, we didn't have Dylan Gabriel in the matchup when we played him last year. The defense has a bunch of transfers coming in off of it. You know, this is a different team, and you know that the matchup is going to matter to these guys a lot. Now, the good part about the transfer portal is that a lot of these guys on the defense, I don't think, are going to have the same built-in rivalry that some of the other guys would have. Like in old school days, you were recruited, you wanted to go to this school, you get recruited, and you start drinking that, you know, you're starting to be indoctrinated from, you know, while you're still in high school. You're wearing the shirts around and you're ready to go, and that's your team. That's where you want to, you know, this is it. And so those rivalry games matter. And then by the time you get there, by the time you're on the field, you've probably seen two or three rivalry games, and you want to go out there and make your mark. When you start to bring in transfers on this defensive end for Oklahoma, some of these guys, you know, they've, you know, maybe they've never even watched a Texas OU game, or if they have, they watched film of it clearly from last year. But the, you know, I, mean, they've, I don't think they've been there and felt the environment of a Texas OU game. I don't know if they know all of that. So walking into that game, it's a rivalry game. Sure, you want to win the game. You're five and zero, Oklahoma. But that extra part where people are a little bit more worried that this is a rivalry game, so you know, it comes out and it's going to come down to who wants it more. I think partly with this defense, it do, I don't know if it's going to have that same weight. Now, there's guys on that offense. Dylan Gabriel's been there. The fact he couldn't play last year is going to make him want to come out. We know that they have Drake Stoops on this team. We we are f- fully aware that Bob Stoops' kid is gonna, is, wants to come out there to play. He's going to want to go. So there's, there's, you know, there's guys that are going to make this about a rivalry. It's just an interesting factor that when you talk about how many you know transfers they have, guys that maybe hadn't been on this team for for too long, you know anybody who wasn't on this team last year, you know they got blown out. You know you lose a little something on that, so uh, something to watch for. But anybody who was on this team last year, forty nine to zero, is going to know that they want to do anything to get that one back on Texas. You're going to have to be able to do that.